Hi, welcome to another Biomedical Engineers TV video. In this video, we will look into dental chairs and their components. So where did it all begin? The history back dates in 1970, where an American dentist named Dr. Josiah Flagg invented the first dental chair. He modified a Windsor writing chair for use in his practice. This was a plain wooden chair with a padded headrest with a tray for equipment on the side. On to the 1950s, Dr. John Naughton invented a dentist chair with an adjustable back allowing the patient to be in a prone position. This, the dental chair, has been the model for all dental chairs since, with updated variations of course. Let's look into modern day dental chair structure. Dental chairs are a major fixture in any dental clinic because they are the center of a dental procedure. Because of this, dental chairs are affixed with various parts and components that will help make any dental procedure smoother and more efficient. In fact, it often seems like there are too many components attached to dental chairs. Let's look into those components of dental chairs. There are several components of a dental chair that it might seem overwhelming. However, these components are fashioned in such a way to deliver comfort, convenience, and functionality to the patient, the dentist, and the overall dental procedure. We will be discussing eight of these components, namely dental light, dental chair controls, cup holder, spittoon bowl, air water syringe, bracket table, and x-ray viewer. First, we look into the dental light attachment. The dental or operator light is used to illuminate inside the mouth or oral cavity of the patient seated on the dental chair. It is usually positioned 30 to 50 inches from the mouth of the patient to avoid the light from shining in the patient's eyes and causing discomfort. The light has dimmer switches so that the intensity of the light may be adjusted. Protective barriers such as plastic wrap or aluminum foil are placed on the handles and the switches of the light. The lights are frequently cleaned and movable parts of the light are lubricated during preventive maintenance. The second component is the dental chair movement control panel. Dental chair controls are comprised of control buttons that can move the dental chair upward or downward depending on what is best suited for the clinician. The movements that are move up, recline to rest, move down, lie down, lift, and raise the seat. The third component is cup holders. Every dental chair has a cup holder. Disposable cups are primarily used for patients to take in water, gargle it, and then spit it out into a spittoon bowl. This is so patients don't feel uncomfortable with blood or debris in their mouth. The fourth component is bracket table. Bracket tables are used to hold hand instruments and materials such as cotton, cotton holders, cement mixtures, and diagnostic instruments, among many others. The fifth component is air water syringe. The air water syringe is one of the only dental devices that are used on every patient for every procedure. The two basic functions for this device are irrigating and drying. The sixth component is an x-ray viewer. X-ray viewers help examine and interpret the radiographs of a patient's oral cavity or tooth. They can help determine if there are areas of tooth decay or infection, which appear darker on the radiograph as they don't absorb much of the x-ray. The seventh component is foot control monitor. The foot control monitor is especially helpful for dentists when they have full hands. It has similar operating buttons such as the manual foot press and is considered safe to use. The eighth component is a spittoon bowl. It is a bowl or a basin where patients spit after gargling or simply spit their saliva. Moreover, it has a water pipe that flushes down the contents into the drain and keeps the basin cleaner. Now let's look into types of dental chairs. While Dr. John Naughton's design of the chair became what we more or less use these days, technological advancements have elaborated the same design into three new types. While there can be different attachments to the chairs, the design is usually of three main types, ceiling mounted, dental chair mounted, mobile independent design. The ceiling mounted design dental chair is a type of dentist's office furniture that mounts to the ceiling. All attachments, as the name suggests, are built into the ceiling and the chair is situated beneath these attachments. Dental chair mounted design. Unlike the ceiling mounted dental chair where attachments are built into the ceiling, a dental chair with a mounted design has the dental engine and attachments built into the actual dental chair. Mobile independent design dental chairs are wheel mounted chairs or folding style chairs with locking mechanisms. 
they are primarily designed to be used in mobile operations and are often used in areas where access to dental services are very limited. This was a simplified video on the dental chair. As we know, the dental chair falls under biomedical furniture or biomedical instrumentation category and it's taken care by biomedical service engineer for the installation, maintenance, and service, so we do have to cover this on our channel. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next time.